up guys Prince Sports here don't forget to comment like subscribe I want to talk to you guys about the team that seems to be sweeping everybody a clean sweep in this offseason is the Los Angeles Lakers okay they they got Rob Palenka and LeBron James they on their job now I say LeBron James because of the simple fact that no trade no signing gets done without the approval of LeBron James and Anthony Davis this is what they said okay this is according to both of those guys so the signing of Wesley Matthews the signing of um, what's his name Dennis Truder and the signing of Montrez Harrell that's all approval on AD and LeBron and they they doing it in such a gangster fashion that <laughs> look they replaced the White House with, with Montrez Harrell, a six man of the year, a guy in his prime for a guy that's a journeyman going from team to team. As good as the White Howard is, um, he's a role player, you know, and he's closer to a role player than um, Montrez Harrell is. Because Montrez Harrell could borderline be an all star for a year or two. He has the potential for doing that. Now, playing on this Laker team, I do think his production is going to go down because there's only one basketball this is the problem the Lakers facing now you put too much talent on one team production of each player starts to go down now it's going to be funny because I want to see what people say about all this talent around the Lakers you know they're going to sit there and say oh my Tris Harrell sucks if the Lakers go on some type of losing streak or such and such sucks but when they were on the other team they were good right there's a reason for that um LeBron James helps players, but he's also decreases some players' value sometimes. This is a fact. So, um, it's not guaranteed that they're going to win, but I tell you this much. They better win because you can't have a roster like that on paper and not win the championship. So, the more talent you get on your roster, the more um, pressure gets put on your back to win the championship. So, now the Lakers got to win another championship. Just like Kevin Durant got to make it to the finals. And that's just what it is, man. You know, then you got another guy, Wesley Matthews. He's a Danny Green replacement. Perfect, you know. Does the same thing, but um, he's a better defensive player. Uh, Dennis Truder is a huge upgrade from Rajon Rondo. Even though Rajon Rondo shows up in the playoffs, Dennis Truder shows up in playoffs and the regular season because he's young and he's in his prime. Lakers got two of the top three six man of the year nominations, okay, nominees, so to speak, on one team. This reminds you of the Los Angeles Clippers. They had Lou Williams and Montrez Harrell, two six man of the year candidates on one team. So now the Lakers are improving their bench. But if you ask me, they should start Dennis Schroeder. Uh, there's no need to have all that firepower off the bench. And keep in mind, Cal Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma is still there. So the Lakers are stacked. You know, they didn't get, they could potentially re-sign um, the KCPs of the world, things of that nature. You know, um, they're, they're definitely a stacked team. Um, this is why people like and hate LeBron James at the same time. No superstar other than Bill Russell has played with more talent than LeBron James. Period. Okay, I don't want to hear it. Don't sit there and tell me that you know, he did it with this, he did it with that. Jordan never had that amount of talent that LeBron James had around him, period. Not even Kobe. Like, there's no superstar that had that much talent around him. So you're supposed to win with all that talent around you. If you don't, then something's wrong. Um, that's the effect of um, stacking the deck. You got to win at that point. You know, uh, they still got solid pieces around them, the Alex Caruso's. Uh, they deep, you know. They improving in just about every position that you could think of, you know. McGee and Montrez Harrell is a good combo for your your five position, and you can have AD play some five too, you know, because he he did it sometimes. So they got enough bigs. Now they got to go out and get some perimeter players, and the one perimeter player that's rumored to be on their team or coming to their team is Bodan Bojanovic. If you get him. Lord have mercy. You have another guy, a 20-plus point scorer on your team. 
You know how many double-digit players are now on the Lakers team? They could potentially win a championship with 11 to 12 double-digit guys on their team. That's borderline all-stars, former all-stars, you name it. And that's just more talent LeBron James is playing with. So I don't want to hear no excuses. This guy missed this shot. This guy sucks. They should have traded this guy. No. These guys are great players. Okay. You're not dealing with the same roster that you had last season, well, this season, and won the championship. That's why I said this championship the Lakers won is the most oppressive, one of the most oppressive championships LeBron has ever won because he did it with just one all-star and role players. Now you're going to do it with one all-star, perhaps, and several borderline all-stars. It's not quite the same no more. So it's going to be looking like, hey, you're stacking the deck. That's just what it is. Press sports out. Peace.